What is up everyone? Welcome back for another episode of Pickle Talk. This one looks a little different. We are getting there people. I have a neon pickle on my wall. Because the background's blurred from my Canon camera, you can't really see how neon it is, but it's actually flashing behind me. I got my pickle on my shelf and I have a new Pickle Talk sign down there that lights up. We are getting the decor in. It is happening. I'm excited. But today's episode, we are gonna be talking about something. I'm going to be talking about why I stopped editing my social media pictures and what happened when I did. I'm gonna be exposing myself a little bit in this one. On Wednesdays, we work out. You can also wear pink. Let's crack open a cold one. Ooh, usually, usually people like say that with beer at parties, like, hey, you wanna crack open a cold one? And then I'm over here with my pickle jar. Whew. I grabbed a purple straw today. Let's go, let's get into it. Wow, I'm already halfway through this jar. Mm. All right, so before I got involved in YouTube, I actually, when I moved to Toronto from my hometown, I actually only had six. Actually, no, because when I hit five, I think I had a couple thousand followers and my goal was to get to 10K. So when I hit that, I was so excited. But anyways, throughout the journey, I was just always told or assumed by like influencers pages that everything had to freaking match. <sighs> you know? Like your aesthetic has to match. So you need to use like these preset filters. So I actually did that and you will see them over here on the screen somewhere. I would always change up the theme when I got bored with it. And while it looks organized and nice, at the same time, a lot of these presets that we see on social media, it's like the water's not that blue. The clouds don't look like that. The sky is not pink and yellow. You guys are taking an image and making it completely unrealistic in a sense. And I was one of those people doing that. <sighs> was it my proudest moment? Absolutely not. Now, I should say that I was never one to edit my body shape. I do not believe in that. I think it's horrible. However, I'll be honest, because I keep it very real on Pickle Talk. I did edit my skin. I was one of those people, I was incredibly insecure about my body. My skin, I would smooth over my cellulite. I would totally like Photoshop out my stretch marks, any acne scars I had or wrinkles, I would smooth it to a point where I looked like a freaking wax figure. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Insecurities? The fact that the media makes us feel like we have to. So I did that and I just got to a point where I was tired of living that fake life. That's not what I look like. My skin does not look like that. My skin has texture. I used to have acne. I have acne scars. I have cellulite even though I work out six days a week. I have stretch marks even though I'm a very fit athletic person. Why would I pretend to be something I'm not? So at the end of the day, I know that I don't look like that. So what good is that gonna do for my mental health? You know? So because I wasn't totally being honest with myself, I just felt like my social media was very like cliche. Like that typical influencer who's always trying to like sell you something or who always trying to like push their wonderful, perfect life on you. And I just got tired of that. Cause it was like, I'm not relatable in any sense. If people are out here, looking at my skin and my body and like, wow, she's no stretch marks, no cellulite, like I wish. It's like, they're not gonna be able to relate to that because that's not skin. Skin has texture. It just got to a point where I was like, let's cut the bullshit. My theme and my page can still be aesthetically pleasing. It can still match. And by that means leave the pictures natural. I stopped putting filters on them. I have not used a filter in quite some time. I will put a screenshot on my page up here for you right now. It's just the basic lighting that it came in. 
very minimal tweaking. Sometimes I like to add like grain to the picture to make it look all rough and stuff, but I do not edit the picture. I don't touch like the lighting. I don't add filters. I don't do any of that anymore. I like to keep them as minimal and bare as possible. And I freaking love it. And I wish I started it a lot sooner. I'm honestly mad at myself. And guess what? When I did that, when I stopped editing my pictures and shared my skin and shared my stretch marks and shared my cellulite and just left things and put it out there for how it is, more engagement, people could relate to me. I wasn't perfect. And I don't want people to look at me and see perfect. I want them to look at me and see human, just like me. My engagement went up. I started getting more comments, so it pushed my reach. I gained more followers. Oh. Ah. Ah. That last bite was so sour for some reason. Ah. Ah. Wow. Most importantly though, my mental health changed. And I think that is worth more than followers, that is worth more than likes, that is worth more than an aesthetically pleasing page. My mental health was better. Y'all, I need to wash that nonsense down. And you know what we got? I'm open a gold one. Y'all, I would do shots of this. My mental health when I was trying to live out this very themed and perfect page and lifestyle and stories, like my mental health was so bad at the time because I was trying to keep up with that. It's very hard to try to keep up with this like perfect filtered life and this and that. It's like if anyone were to see me in person or meet me or anything, they're gonna see my skin's not perfect. They're going to see I have stretch marks and cellulite. Like why am I trying to pretend that I don't have it? So my mental health now is sign I've never been happier online. I've never been more myself online. The fact that I can even drink freaking pickle juice and eat pickles online and people support that and they're like, you're weird, but like we dig it. I love it. I know a lot of content creators out there feel the pressure of how their page looks because you want to get brand deals and things like that. And I have got brand deals, but I still make my page look aesthetically pleasing because I do think that is important if that is the route you're trying to take and get brand deals, but you can do it in a very real, honest and natural way. And if you can't and brands aren't into that, then you probably don't want to work with them anyways. Know what I'm saying? So that's all I got for this pickle talk. I'm gonna put a lid on it and a lid on this conversation. But if you want to keep talking about it, if you have questions about it, <coughs> if you have any questions or if you want to share your experience that you've had with this on social media, message me, write a comment down below, and I will see you guys in a future Pickle Talk episode. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, go eat some freaking pickles and stop editing your pictures. You're perfect the way you are, okay? Bye.